Welcome to round one of the 2022 Western Australian Off-Road Racing Championship, the McPhee Freight G-Turbo Perendry 360. The Perendry 360 is run in the Midwest town of Perendry, and for 2022 sees a record field of 52 competitors set to greet the start line. With a high quality field assembled, there was a definite buzz of excitement as we look to kick off the 2022 season in style. The event format for Perendry starts with a prologue, which is being sponsored by Off-Road Rush WA. This is where the competitors are at full tilt for an 18km qualifying lap. Top seed Harley Uran is typically the man to catch on these prologues, his average finishing position is the best in the field, and he will be hoping to take out the Off-Road Rush WA hot lap and seal pole position for the race. After the sprint of the prologue, the race then splits into three longer sections. Saturday afternoon is one lap of the 72km course, while Sunday will see two sections, which are each two laps long, giving a total competitive distance of 360km. So with all of the competitors raring and ready to go, let's focus our attention on the prologue and what should be some thrilling off-road racing action. Thus, typically making overtaking difficult, a good prologue is one of the keys to a successful weekend of off-road racing. teams are attacking hard, trying to lock in a dust-free run at the front of the field for Section 1. Carl Richardson had a little moment on his way to an impressive fourth quickest, but Shane Elphinstone had bigger dramas, collecting a fence and shutting down with engine issues. He would have to be seated for the race. Setting the pace once again was Harley Uren, who was quickly gaining a reputation as being very, very tough to beat on Prologue. Prologue was very good today. Had a good clean run. One little slight overshoot, but basically did it right. It was good. So it was Uren on top, with Truella and Rowett just behind. Last year's title protagonist Percival and Grua locked in 5th and 6th, 
with Grewer impressively nearly 30 seconds ahead of the next side by side. Peter Lindeboom also won to impress, rounding out the top 10 in his pro life. With one lap of the 72km course to come on Saturday afternoon, crews use the lunch break to prepare their vehicles. Section 1 got underway with this being the first real hit out of the season. All of the teams were eager to see how their long run pace stacked up. Mark Murray had issues on prologue, but in section 1 he was on the charge, up into the top 10. The massive field of 22 side-by-sides meant that the side-by-side -side pro class was one of the most hotly contested in the field. After his prologue difficulties, Shane Elphinstone started deep in the field and battled through dust for most of the day. Wayne Batson appeared to be settling nicely into his new X3, as he had a lot of intra-team battles with five side-by-sides coming out of this camp. Ryan Primp was impressive in his pro light, sitting just off the pace of class leader Jared Percival, whilst Greg Pickersgill got to grips in his new performance two-wheel drive, putting down some solid times. But 
But once again, nobody could touch Harley Uren. He clocked the quickest time of the day in his one-speed racing Pro 2. Section 1 I went to plan for most of it. Uh, I lost first gear early on, but didn't need it a lot. Some of the tight corners would have been useful, but didn't really need first. And then about 10 k from the end, lost rear brakes. So that was a bit interesting, but got it home, so that's the main thing. We'll go again tomorrow. Uren holds the lead on day one, with small gaps back to Roa and Truella, whilst Grua, Deck and Yearly weren't split by much as they represented the side-by-sides in the top 10. Stay tuned for part two of the Perindri 360 when we check out all of the action from day two of racing.